This endangered ground pangolin found in South and Eastern Africa is lucky. He is one of 50 pangolins rescued this year from wildlife traffickers and put in the care of veterinarian Dr. Karen Lawrence. Her groundbreaking medical care for the scaly anteaters means he is more likely to soon be back in nature. Very little is known about the Temix ground pangolin. Um, they've already had this poaching epidemic in Asia for quite a long time. So they've had lots of time to do research on theirs, whereas we get one at a time. Asian pangolins in, in captivity will eat out of a bowl. Ours do not. They have to be taken out into their natural environment and followed almost while they feed. Dr. Lawrence's team pioneered a tube feeding method with low fat, high protein cat food to keep rescued pangolins alive and recovering. While her blood testing research has made it easier to tailor treatment plans for each pangolin, wildlife veterinarian and scientist Professor Leith Mayer says Dr. Lawrence's work is far-reaching. She's discovering really important treatments. She's in discovering very important things about their normal physiology, how their normal body works. And that all allows her and will allow other people in the world to then better treat their pangolins. Poachers sell pangolins to Asian markets where the scales are considered a traditional medicine and the meat a delicacy for up to 1,000 US dollar per kilogram. The African Pangolin Working Group says if current poaching trends continue, all four species of African pangolins will be extinct within two decades. In the bush, conserving pangolins is not just about stopping poachers. We need all the different aspects um, and, and at this point the most important one is, is the veterinary treatment. Pangolins are one of the most trafficked animals on the planet. With Dr. Lawrence's help, it may just be possible to prevent this gentle creature from being completely wiped out. Marisa de Klerk for VOA News. Johannesburg.